Today, I'm going to show you how to simply use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Let's jump in. So if you're not familiar, VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup, and it's a way of looking at a table and automatically finding the values that you want to find without having to manually look them up. So I just put together this, this sample inventory list here, and there's only a few items, so it would be easy to like look for the individual values that you're looking for. But in a case where you might have thousands or hundreds of thousands of entries into a table, you're not going to look through that manually. So what we can do is we can add a formula, VLOOKUP formula, to be able to find those easily. And this is how you do this. So over here, I have what I'm trying to find. I want to see how much we have in stock of certain items. So let's say I want the nails and I want screws and I want the drills. OK, so you add your item in here. Now, in the cell that you're looking for the value for, in my case, I'm looking for the number in stock. We're going to add the formula here. We're going to start by typing equals, which is telling it that I'm going to write a formula. And then you want to type in V lookup. OK, and it even auto fills to to tell you that that's what you have. And then you want to open a parenthesis. And if you look below there, just as a reminder, it'll show you all the components that you need to add in there to make this formula work. OK, so first we want the lookup value. So this is the item that you're searching for. So in my case, it's going to be what's in this cell here. OK, so we're just going to click the cell that contains that. So we're going to click there, which is M2. OK, and then we just need to enter a comma for the next one. Next, we just need to select the table that we are wanting to get these values from. So I'm just going to highlight over here. We'll take the whole thing down and then we're going to hit comma. Now it's asking you which value you want to add into that. So we're going from where we started the column. We go one, two, three, four. We want it to be the, the column four. Then we go comma. And then next it's asking you if you want an exact match or a partial match. In our case, we want it to be the exact match of what's over there. So we're just going to select false and then we hit enter. And you can see it comes back with 101. So now we look down through here just to confirm, and we see that is 101. So let's say we have 101 nails in stock. Sounds like we might need to buy some more. Now, instead of entering that formula in for the rest of these, all we need to do is click on that cell. And in the bottom corner, you see a little knob there. And you grab that, and you just drag that over the functions that you want. And then you can see it copies that formula and moves the data points accordingly so that now we have all those values are entered in just the way we want. And with that, you've added the VLOOKUP function to your table. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.